I finally got the last piece of the puzzle. I found the motor. Now, I know you guys were really wanting like a 250 or a 300 horsepower or something really crazy to throw on this thing. As awesome as that would be, uh, I cannot afford that. Um, one, they're like impossible to find. Two, I can't afford it in the first place. And three, it's definitely way too powerful for this kind of boat. Those motors on those pontoon boats are made for bigger lakes and like going out in the ocean and stuff. Not anything like this is going to be up for. So I really wanted around a 150 and that is what I got. This is a 2004 Yamaha 150. Runs great. It came off of a running boat already. It came off a shrimp boat actually. The reason he's getting rid of this one is because he bought a brand new 200 horsepower and it finally came in after a couple years. So he decided to sell this one and that's what I got it. I got it for a decent deal. It wasn't like anything crazy and it wasn't like a bad deal at all. Uh, as long as nothing goes wrong with it, it wasn't a bad deal. But I heard it run and it runs good. He had a tractor to actually put this into my truck. Uh, I do not have anything like that, but I do have some friends. So I'm gonna call them over and we're gonna try to get this on. Uh, that's how we put on every single motor I've had so far. It's just a lot of willpower and <laughs> human muscle. So hopefully that works out again and we don't drop it. It doesn't need much to get going. It needs the prop needs the throttle assembly, throttle cables, and that's about it. Came with the wiring harness and all that kind of stuff. So other than that, it should be good to go. And obviously you're gonna paint it and then we'll be good to go. So we're gonna try to get this on and then I'll show you guys a little bit more of the paint and stuff and what I'm planning to do to it. Wish me luck, hopefully it goes okay. <laughs> Well, it wasn't easy, but it's on. We had to do a little bit of sketchy stuff, you know, questioning what we were doing a lot of times. I was using barrels to hold it up. Yeah, a lot of stuff I wouldn't recommend doing, but it's on there and we didn't break anything. So that's all good news. So 150 Yamaha four stroke, uh, 2004, I believe. Yeah, it was 2004. Runs great. It was on a shrimp boat over on the Gulf of Mexico. The only reason he was replacing it is because he just bought a brand new 250 Yamaha, I think. He always took care of it, did the maintenance when it needed it. And everything it does need a prop though but i have everything else i need it has steering i have the throttle throttle cables uh, all the gas stuff and should have everything to hook it up now this does need a paint job really bad it's peeling a lot it's like indented where the decal used to be so i gotta do some body filler get the rest of that decal off take off all these decals and repaint it i'm thinking about going with a matching color maybe tan light tan maybe black uh, maybe do a custom paint job don't know yet but first thing I want to do is hook up all this stuff, steering, throttle cable, hook up the gas, make sure it's running good. Uh, I need to get in the habit of doing that because my last motor, I painted it all, got it all running, or got it all <laughs> put back together and painted, and I found out I didn't really run it very good. So we're going to do that first, make sure it all runs good, and should be good to go from there. It does run good, I heard it, but just make sure it still runs good after the transport because it was like a three-hour drive. So we're going to start with the gas tank, get all that hooked up. Then we're going to move up to the top, do the throttle, steering, hook up all the steering, run all the cables, run all the wiring, and hopefully it all starts. We'll see.
everything up here is all hooked up and ready to go. I had to move the batteries around a little bit to get the extended wires from the motor to the battery, um, get them to fit, because I just needed like another foot really to get it over here, but just swap the batteries and that's all good to go. There's a little bit of extra wiring for the actual harness itself. It's all hooked up. Back here, I only have a little bit hooked up. Got the fuse line, vent hose, still waiting for the actual fuel line itself. Got the battery hooked up, wiring harness all hooked up. I'm waiting for everything else to get hooked up after I paint. I don't want to hook all this up and get overspray on it or whatever so all the hydraulic steering stuff is just gonna wait until after it's painted same thing with the throttle cables I actually ordered two small ones so gotta go pick up newer ones new 20 foot ones these are 18 foot need 20 foot to fit this that's what's up next I want to paint this thing I haven't decided on a color yet I think I'll figure it out after I get it all sanded down I got a lot of sanding to do a little bit of body work I have to fill all this in because it's like indented to where the sticker used to be so i gotta get those decals off sand it down fill in all the imperfections and then we can start putting primer and then figure out a paint and uh design that's next let's do it Audio may sound a little bad right now. Turns out one of my dogs got a hold of my microphone and hit it somewhere or ate it. 
I found this piece and that is all I found. So audio might be a little messed up right now, but the motor is done and it looks really good. At first, I was not a fan of the color. I went to the paint store. I took a seat with me to try to get a paint color to match. Couldn't find anything that would work. I even tried to get them to do the camera thing, but apparently the camera doesn't work on fabric. What it is is like a camera that you can get the exact paint code for, but didn't work. So we tried to match it up, found this color. It looked a lot better on the card. <laughs> it looked like a, a lot closer of a match on the card, but uh, as you can tell, it's not really matching anything, but it actually looks really good. It looks very retro, I think. Like the color looks retro, but the graphics make it look a little bit more modern. It's a good mixture, I think. It doesn't really match anything on the boat and it really stands out, but I think it looks good. I think it looks better than the silver too. The silver looked very unmatching, but this kind of matches, but in a way it doesn't. <laughs> I don't know, I think I'm just talking right now, but I think it looks good. Everything is all hooked up. I have the steering all hooked up all the wires to it, the gas line. I just had to hook up the throttle cables and I got new longer throttle cables to hook up. So we'll get that all hooked up too. It's almost done though. That was the main thing to get done this episode. Now we need to finish it up. A couple little things. I need to attach the aluminum back on the side. I have aluminum panels that go right here. Weld the aluminum fin back on. If I can't do that, I'm gonna have to find someone else to do that, but I'm gonna try it. Hopefully I can get it on there. Attaching the brackets to the fencing, switching up some of the wiring, getting that throttle cable up. Uh, have a couple other gauges I need to install, but that's pretty much it. Not a whole lot left and then it'll be ready to go. So let's go ahead and knock the rest of that stuff out and call it done.
and it's finally done. Everything works, everything is working. Uh, it all looks good, I'm just happy it's done. Paint job, I'm st it's starting to grow on me a lot more. At first I was a little iffy and I was kind of liking it, and, but now I really like it. I think it looks really good. It doesn't really match anything on the boat, but <laughs> it's, that's okay. Actually, no, I did find something that matches this grout line on the floor. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty close match right there, but that's about it. Other than that, yeah, nothing really matches it, but I think it looks good and it kind of fits the vibe of the boat. Runs good, sounds good, shifts good. Everything about this motor is good. Uh, we'll have to test it out on our first test drive, make sure it doesn't break down. Hopefully not, I don't think it will though. Um, I ran it for quite a while and it sounded perfectly fine the whole time. I threw a prop I had on there, probably end up changing that out. I don't think it's big enough for this, but we're gonna test it out, see. I re-welded the fins back on. This one broke off when I was installing the Tritune and the other one was already broke off when I bought the boat. Got them welded on. I'm not a professional welder, as you can tell, but they are holding up and it works. Actually, I welded on this eye hook too, and it looks really good. I'm getting a little bit better. I welded this one first, did this one, got a really good weld, and then this one was bad again. I think it helps when you're welding on newer aluminum because all this is very new. This is brand new. Uh, this is all older though, and have been in the water for a lot of its life, in the salt water, so maybe that makes a difference, but I don't know. I just know that welding this was a lot easier than this. Moving up top, I added a couple extra things, um, some necessary things, some not necessary at all. One thing are these wireless phone chargers. I thought that was a kind of cool feature. Not really necessary, but definitely cool. I wouldn't put your phone up there with the fire going though. <laughs> uh, yeah, just daylight charging, maybe. Also cleaned up the rest of the boat, pressure washed it. I did take out the beer tap. I did a little bit more research into it, talked to a couple people who've also done it, and they say it gets really foamy. It's honestly not worth it. So decided to take it out, put a cup holder there instead. I'm keeping the keg work sidebar though. This is awesome, I can't wait to use it. Put all my liquor down there, maybe a mixed drink to hook up to it. Pour out some rum, get a Coke from the cooler, pour it in there with some ice. It's all gonna look really good. Work really good. Also added some fencing bracing. I didn't wanna add any right here, so I added a spacer along with a bolt attaching it to the upper deck. Didn't wanna add any on the side because I know people are gonna trip over it, hit their feet on it. That's what happened on my last pontoon boat. It was a big problem. One more thing, I also added lights into both the barrels. That way at night, people can get their stuff. If they have bags or anything they threw underneath there to keep dry, they can get in there at night and be able to see everything. It's one of the switches up here. Also up here, I added a fuel gauge for my tank. Works great. Have about half a tank of fuel in there. Cost me $70. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to that. But I also added battery gauges, one for one battery and the other one for the other one. This is the accessory and this one is the engine battery. Added hydraulic fluid into the steering. It all works really great. It's very easy to turn. The shifter on the other hand is a little tough. It's a little hard right there. I tried to keep it as straight as I possibly could running the, the lines for it, but it's just, it's just something I have to deal with. Maybe it's in the actual control itself because going down is fine, but going up is a little bit harder. You may notice the wiring right here. I had to add this for my trim and tilt because this button, the down doesn't work. I didn't know it didn't work when I installed it, but when I tested it out the other day, I was like, why isn't the motor going down? I was freaking out. I thought some kind of wiring got messed up. Checked everything and then I found out it was the button itself. So it's good on my end, bad on this end because the company is giving me the runaround. They don't want to replace it. I will get another one eventually, but for right now, this is gonna have to work for the first few test drives, but it works. All right, that is it for this episode. It is all ready to go. Next episode is gonna be the first test drive. We're gonna see if we need anything, see if anything breaks. Hopefully we don't break down because I don't really have a boat to tow me home. I have this one, but this one's gonna be sold pretty soon. I'm excited for the first test drive. That is next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not following me on Instagram, I post a little bit behind the scenes before actual video stuff. Post it on my story. You can check it out there. I'll probably post a picture on my story when this is out on the water. Check it out there. If not, I will catch you guys next episode, finishing this thing up. Can't wait. All right, see you guys then. Bye.